In this clip, we'll graph the conic section called the parabola in its most elementary form. In order to graph the parabola, y equals x squared, the first thing we'll do is go into the y equals menu and then we'll key in y y1 equals, in the space after that we'll key in x to the power of 2. Then we'll go ahead, we'll go to the zoom key and then we'll select Z standard, option 6, which then gives us a domain from minus 10 to 10 and a range from minus 10 to 10. Now if we go to the win window menu we can adjust the range by letting y min instead of going from minus 10 to 10 let's go down to a minus 2 and that will let us see a little bit more of the parabola when we now graph it. We see our range now is going from minus 2 up to 10 so we see more of the parabola in the screen. Now we'll graph the ellipse, which is another conic section, and the equation we'll use is x squared over 4 plus y squared over 9 equals 1. The center of this ellipse will be at the origin, but in order to graph it, since it's not a function, we'll actually find the equation for the upper half and the lower half, and here we see the equation plus or minus 3 halves times the square root of 4 minus x squared. So solving for y, we see the upper half is, is a positive 3 halves times the square root of 4 minus x squared. And y will be negative when it's equal to a minus 3 halves times the square root of 4 minus x squared. That's giving us the curve underneath the x-axis. When we graph the ellipse, We'll first type in the upper half, which is 3 halves, times the square root of 4 minus x squared. And if we go to zoom, and then option 6 is standard. We see we graph the upper half of the ellipse. Now we can key in the lower half of the ellipse so that we have the upper and the lower half on the graph by going to y equals, cursoring down to y2, and using the fact that the lower half is the opposite of the upper half, we'll type in opposite, and then we're going to type in y1 by using the var key, go over to the y var menu, hit the function menu, and there we see y1. So by hitting enter, we now have the equation we want, y2 equals minus y1. So when we graph it, we now see the lower half. And we can get a better picture by selecting the zoom option, z decimal option 4. which gives us a better view of the ellipse. Notice the major axis is going from minus 3 to 3 and the minor axis is going from minus 2 to 2. Next we graph the hyperbola. Similar to the ellipse, it's not a function, but it does have an upper half and a lower half. So we solve for y, we find out that y is equal to plus or minus 3 halves times the square root of 4 minus x squared. So the upper half would be y equals 3 halves times the square root of the quantity 4 minus x squared. And the lower half will be minus 3 halves times the square root of the quantity 4 minus x squared. In graphing the hyperbola, similar to the ellipse, we'll go into the equation editor 
and the equation we have for the upper half of the hyperbola is 3 halves times the square root of the quantity x squared minus 4 and then we'll choose z standard initially and so we see the upper half of the hyperbola now in order to get the lower half of the, hyper the hyperbola it's just the opposite of that equation so we'll go into y equals cursor down to y2 equals and we'll type in negation, go to the vars key, go over to y vars, select 1 for function, and select the y1. And then when we graph it, We now see that we have the upper half and the lower half of our hyperbola.